Hello. So, uh, while I was checking out Divine Intervention, uh, I found that you could actually summon yourself a legendary weapon. Uh, do take note before you use this that Divine Intervention, you can only use it once per adventure. It's not once per long rest or anything like that. You literally can only use this one time. So, uh, before we even consider the weapon, we should at least look at the other options. Uh, for the first one, you get a rich bounty of potions and camp supplies. There is really nothing else about it. You get potions and camp supplies. I'm not kidding. It is that lame. Alright, then the next one. Sunder the Heretical. This is actually a pretty good nuke. 8d10 uh, radiant damage in a humongous AoE on save targets take half damage. And good news is that in this gigantic AoE here, it will not target any allies at all. So it is really good at purging all enemies within this circle. So actually not a bad use of your Divine Intervention. Opulent Revival. Resurrects Fallen Companions with half their hit points. Restores all nearby allies as if they had long rested. So a basically full heal as well as full spell slot uh, renewal for every other ally, including the resurrected ally. Okay, And it also can resurrect multiple allies as well. Okay, so this is a really strong one. So if you do want to keep this for an emergency situation, you can. But the weapon is also pretty damn good. Alright, now that I've summoned the weapon, you notice that I cannot do that again. The, the button just disappeared from my hotbar. So let's check out the weapon. Devotee Smith, it has 1d8 radiant damage on top of it. It has a plus 3 weapon enhancement which is very good. That is equivalent to a legendary weapon, more or less. Uh, legendary weapons are the ones with yellow borders. Uh, Lavender's Blood, for example, is a plus three weapon that you can get in about, I think, Act 2. And then we also have Shah Spear, which you can get if you go the Shah route with Shadow Heart. Uh, and then now we have Devotee's Mace, which any cleric that can do that, uh, that action just now, uh, can get this. Uh, you can only do that action at level 10. That's when you will be able to invoke your deity and then you can use that action that I just did. So the mace, yep, plus three weapon, pretty good. It also has this ability called the healing aura. It will do an AoE healing of 1d4 at the start of your turn in this ginormous AoE. Alright, so if you just wait until one tick goes down, you will see that everyone heals by a certain amount. So this is very, very good for out of combat healing and also helps to save you some spell slots if you are in a very tough fight. Because every turn, when Shadow Heart takes a turn, she will just revive all allies that are down automatically because this is effectively a healing word. Every turn for 10 turns. Very, very strong. Very good weapon. I recommend everyone take that weapon instead of picking the other options because honestly, for the rest of the options, you could probably manage it if you can keep your cleric alive. The cleric can revive people, revivify, and she can also, you know, do healing word and other stuff, blah, blah, blah. The rest are really not that important, honestly. Yep, so that is it for this video. Quick and simple. Hope you guys enjoy your new weapon and bye-bye.